the New Zealand example, when I was there, um, they put a lot of stock behind uh, keeping their soil indices up and uh, pH correct. Uh, a typical excuse in Scotland would be, I can't get a, an Arctic lorry tipped or a, an eight-wheeler tipped to, uh, to get lime spread. I was on a hill farm in uh, North Island that was uh, described with the person I uh, visited beforehand as Tiger Country, and they had uh, built and installed an airstrip so that they could uh, apply um, phosphate uh, by, via airplanes and lime. So that goes to show the extent that they take looking after the, their soil. Um, the other thing I was going to talk about is uh, improving uh, grass and utilisation. Again, Andrew <laughs> very kindly <laughs> went through that. Um, uh, estimated um, annual dry matter production from grassland in the Scotland right now is somewhere between four to six tonnes. The actual utilisation is probably 60-70% of that. When it's possible to uh, grow you know, 12 tonne plus on even marginal land, it, it, again, it shows that we're just not at the races as far as it comes to, uh, from a grassland point of view. Even with the, you know, the simple use of rotational uh, grazing can grow you an extra 30% grass for very little um, effort other than a bit of time and a bit of fencing and a, and a three to four year payback period for the infrastructure. Um, and it, this will then allowing the, through the better control of the, the palatability, uh, the, sorry, the um, digestibility of the grass, the increased um, stock um, growth rates. So it's, uh, again, these messages aren't getting through because the vast majority of stock in Scotland are set stock. Um, another point, uh, this is slightly uh, just going away from what um, you know, uh, my initial plan was, I don't necessarily think we need to improve our output I think we need to focus on our cost of production because in a global sense we, you know, I'm involved in a grazing group up in Perth, there was one guy that was costing him uh, just short, a short of £4 a kilo live weight to produce his lamb going by his uh, benchmark figures. So it's, you know, we need to screw this down. We, we can, once we get on top of these points, cost production, well, we can then build on uh, uh, producing more but up until then, I think we're wasting our time until we get uh, get soil right, get drainage right, move on to grassland, and then down the genetics. I think we focus far too much on the genetics when it's nine percent uh, feeding and ten percent ge uh, genetics. So um, that's me. Okay.